Hi, I'm Jeff, cameraman, producer, editor, a lot of things here at the World of DVC Show. I'm here to welcome you to episode 17 of the World of DVC Show. Today, we go behind the scenes of Club 33. Oh, hey, Jeff. Hey, Derek. What are you doing? I'm just here introducing the show. What are you up to? Nothing. Oh, today's the Club 33 show. Sure is. Have you ever been? I never have. I think I'd like to go. Me too. Do you have any money? Yeah, let me see what I got here. What do you got? I got a one, two, three, that, four. I think that's enough. Perfect. Hey, Carrie, is this enough to get us into Club 33? Daddy, look, a giraffe. I can't believe you can walk through the castle. It starts with a spark, alive in our hearts, a chance to build your legacy. To go to magical places with smiles. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now entering the world of DVC, the ultimate DVC destination where magical vacations meet incredible value through exceptional service. Put in your headphones, turn the volume up, sit back, relax, and step into the world of DVC. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> Hello. D- did you guys get any sleep last night? Because rumor has it there was a professional football game last night with someone's name who rhymes with Ron Slady. No, we say Schmon Schmady. Schmon Schmady. <laughs> Schmon Schmady. <laughs> Tom Brady, of course. of course. Tom Brady, of course, played his first football game of the season. Yes. Like many teams did. But mm-hmm. how oh, did this, your boy do? Were you in bed by nine, really? I was in bed by nine <laughs> thirty. <you> <clears throat> yeah. So I woke up this morning and checked the news like, <laughs> I, like all old people do. <laughs> what happened last night on the... <laughs> on that NFL <laughs> Sunday night football game. On those Oldest sporting quarterback events. To yeah. Start, yeah, to start. He won. You guys won, That's right? Good. It was an excellent game. Yeah, it was, was good. It? Mm-hmm. Need some more touchdowns, but the defense yeah, it played was, well. Yeah, it you was, sent me a picture. I asked her. I said, "Are you going to stay up late and watch this game? Because we're on East Coast time." I'm like, "This game doesn't start till like eight thirty at night." I if know. I'm doing my math. That's like really late. <laughs> that starts she, tomorrow. She sends me a picture. She's got her Brady jersey on. She's all set, ready to go. So yep. good. Congrats. Yep. Thanks. And I like my your sh- shirt, by the way. Oh Thank my you. god, your shirt's <clears throat> awesome. If this, if everybody can see it, and if you can't see it because you're at home, it's yes. It's got hidden haunted mansion. This is the, the ghost house. The this ghost is the haunted awesome. mansion Tommy Bahama shirt that came out. I thought you were going to say Tom Brady shirt. <laughs> <laughs> very subtle references. Of, <laughs> TB12 somewhere. Of, yeah, I the, love it. Yeah, it's very, very soft. It's very nice. Yeah. My wife said, let's go over here after we went to Disney Springs because we went and had right. brunch the other day at Wine Bar George, Boy, which, wine oh my God, it was great. I've never been there for brunch. <gasps> oh, it's so good. Yeah, it yeah okay. it's really, really, the it's worth it. best yeah. steak and eggs I've ever had really? my whole yeah. entire nice. life. And the coolest part was, yeah. as we walk in, we're seated at our table by George. Of Wine Bar George. Yeah, he's there often. Because I know he's there all the yeah. time. Did you he's, talk to him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course I did. Hello. No, Derek's he's too shy. He's a huge fan of the show. <laughs> did, did you pull up the show and just, yeah, just in course. case, you know. Yeah. Will he be yeah. a guest? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. did, you, did you book that? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I'm going to work on that. Yeah. Anyway, he was very nice. <laughs> Can you bring us a cheese board? <laughs> he was super nice and oh, it, just so cool awesome. to see him there because he, he busses all the tables and works around and he talks does. to everybody and stuff. It was great. But it was fantastic. <clears throat> then we did a little shopping and went to Tommy Bahama. So, I okay, the Tommy Bahama and Disney Springs. And Disney Springs. Nice. Yep. And then we went and saw this new movie. It's an indie film. I don't know. I think I'm the last two people on earth that didn't see it. It's indie. called Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> we did. I, I hadn't seen it yet. I haven't seen it either. So we, you still haven't seen it? Oh my God. I, just, I thought I, I was just, like the last one. Well, listen, I just saw the original. <laughs> I just saw the original Top Gun like three Saturdays ago. <laughs> anyway, I know. It's it really good. If you haven't great. seen it. It was great. Yeah. Good. So it's one of those afternoons that you're like, I love 
love living in Central Florida, where you mm-hmm. get to go have yeah. brunch and go see a movie at Disney AMC Marketplace. So it was, right. it was awesome. So welcome everybody. Yes. <laughs> we swore this is not going to be another long show. We said we're going to keep it I moving. Talk to that Disney Springs <laughs> for, for forty-five the next three minutes. Hours. <laughs> oh, sure. Anyway, welcome. We're going to fly through the I rest know. of it. No, we are thrilled to have you all here for this this month's show. Mm-hmm. We've got an exciting show to talk we all do. about. Episode seventeen. Episode seventeen. You believe it? Yeah, I know. It's we crazy. should have timed this better to done this show on episode 33, 33. to talk about Club 33. Ah, but well. <laughs> we jumped ahead. So you're going to love this show. Mm-hmm. I'm going to love this show because Carrie and Marissa are going to tell us <clears throat> so much kind of peeling back behind the curtain of the... Uh, the curtain. The curtain, <laughs> the curtain miss, too. Yes. As soon as I started that's saying... Like, that's, I saw your eyes like... <laughs> that's uh, a Club 33 term, though, that we'll tell you about that later. The curtain. As soon as I said it, I go, I know they're going to pounce uh-huh. on me for saying curtain. No, well, we could always cut and retake. But no, leave it in. It wouldn't be as fun. Well, before no. we started, too, Marissa cracks up laughing, and she's like, you have lipstick all over your teeth. So, we, you know, she we did. keep each other... We'll save that for another bloopers. (laughs) You can see she dabbed it right here. (laughs) A couple times. Uh Oh, my God. It's like my grandmother's So we will have a great, great show for you today. We are super excited. All glad to all be together with everybody. And Jeff's here as well. So Jeff's been here for, I think, six hours because he forgot to look at (laughs) the... When we changed the time of the thing, you were like... I'm like, how long have you been here, Jeff? He's like, well, just a few hours. Just get everything set up. So Jeff's been like the official office greeter. He's had breakfast, brunch, and lunch. He's going (laughs) to stay for dinner. (laughs) So it's going to be a fun show. So we've got lots to talk about, including Club 33. But thank you, everyone, for your response to last month's show, which was Give Kids the World, where we had Stephen Stephen Amos Amos. on here. Great stories. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch that show. It was probably one of my favorite ones. Yeah, And it was cool because the end result result of that show not only being incredibly entertaining but marissa how much money did Mm. we wind up raising so far well we had 340 people participate whether that was through a comment or a thumbs up so we had promised give kids the world that we would give ten dollars for every level Mm -hmm. of participation so we are able to give them a check for three thousand four hundred dollars that we will be bringing this month to the discon Mm -hmm. so that will be september 30th and october 1st right Uh, so if you're in town join us for that check out our previous episode on episode 16 to hear all about that Mm -hmm. but we are super honored to partner with give kids the world And we thank all of you for participating, for subscribing, for just being a part of our family. Mm -hmm. I know it feels something like so small and simple, like a thumbs up, but it really does mean so much. So thank you so much for taking part of this giveaway. And we're so thrilled to be able to give them such an awesome check. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. And I I always look forward to that show. We did this last year and presented the check, Sue presented the check uh, at the December gala. And so it's something we'll continue to do. And it's such, like you said, Marissa, it's such an easy thing, an easy way to make a huge impact. So Comment, thank you. like, subscribe, yeah. five stars, whatever it might be, $10 to Each to and every one of you, which was great, because again, we love getting all your comments yes. and in the inbox and the comments y'all leave on, on Facebook of people literally from all over the world. Mm-hmm. It's the coolest it thing. It really is. And so to get you guys involved, like we did last month, um, and being able to just have thousands of dollars to be able to present this incredible charity. Mm-hmm. And I think probably, <clears throat> excuse me, the most impressive thing was Marissa did that math in her head. <laughs> right off the- I mean, listen. <laughs> Some people are just like math, you know, That's students. That's why she's the marketing yeah, that director. That was the add a zero option. <laughs> I would have been like, we got so many. Do you get Hold your, on, your your yellow pen? <laughs> but you, there's so much fun stuff to talk yeah. about. So you, who do I want to start with? I'm not quite well, sure. Well, first, before we do that, yeah, because ahead. Derek, you did promise another giveaway uh, last episode. So we mm-hmm. want to give a shout out to Thomas. Oh, Thomas. yes. Thomas, who won your so vintage board game. Yay. So we'll be sending that your way as Love well. It. Congrats, Thomas. I just emailed him right before we taped the show. I I said, Thomas, I'm getting ready to get in the car or have Marissa pick me up to come and tape the show. And (laughs) I said, I want to let you know that you won the board game. And he emailed me back right away and said, oh, my God, I'm so excited. I can't wait. So congrats, Thomas. It is on the way to you. So So fun. Congratulations. And thank you, Thomas, for your loyalty and for watching us. I love that board game. Every time I see it in a store, it's like the first time I've seen it. Because I'm like, oh, look, a vintage board. I've seen this. Haven't I seen this? It's, just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's so cute. It's so cute. Love yeah, it. That's awesome. And then we wanted to keep <clears throat> that give back 
going. So yes. for those of you who want to win a prize or have been part of our community, we are doing another prize this month. Uh-huh. And so in the theme of all things holiday, right? So right now with Disney World, we have so much going on, whether it is the Halloween celebrations or Christmas yeah. coming up. We would love to hear about your mm-hmm. favorite traditions, whether that was like a one-time experience or right. something you do consistently with your family that has to do with Disney. So if you love a certain event, maybe it's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween right. Party, or maybe it's food and wine, yeah. or candlelight. maybe a spe- yeah, candlelight, candlelight, a special Thanksgiving booking mm-hmm. that you do yeah. as a family. Let us know in the comments. We would love to read them all, maybe share mm-hmm. them on another episode, maybe our holiday edition mm-hmm. episode, because we also love to get good tips from y'all, because you guys have great tips. Yeah. So <laughs> put it in the comments there, and then email us, info at worldofdvc.com, and let us know your name and your mailing address, and one of you will win a $150 gift card to Disney. Ooh, $150. Whoa. That's pretty good. That is pretty good, yeah. That, almost that's buy you a really Tommy good. Bahama shirt, I it think. It might almost. Almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> did you get any discounts on that? <laughs> yeah, no. Through, no. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, I did. I got my AP, annual pass. Or, annual oh, good. Pass discount. Wonderful. Yeah. DVC member. So Maybe you can then. So yes, let us know that. Let us know what kind of yeah. traditions you have. Yeah. Which is funny because we were just talking right before we started filming. Yes. We're like, what kind of prize should we give away? And then I think it was Carrie's like, there's so much stuff going on at Disney that we talk to people all, all the time that have traditions and it might even be mm-hmm. we go in the summertime at a certain time. Maybe yeah. it's the yeah. 4th of July or maybe it's food and wine Well, there was Christmas, a sales whatever. guide that, that we used to work with. I don't know that you guys remember, and I, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but his tradition was every 4th of July, he booked Bay Lake Tower. Oh, he had Bay Lake Tower yeah. um, in a two bedroom, and that was his family's tradition. And they didn't even go near the parks because yeah. it's Fourth of July. But they stood on their balcony and yeah. watched. And that was he said we book it for a week, and we know the points, and that's our tradition. So Fourth of July is great, but we want to know between August and the end of the year, kind of where we are yeah. right now, because Let we all know. have our own family traditions and things that we've been doing for decades now. Let yeah. us know. Yeah. One hundred and fifty dollar gift card nice. at stake. So we can't wait to hear from you. I thought so. you said one hundred fifty dollars for, for steak. steak. Me too. I did. Did you hear that too? I did too. <laughs> Not for steak. We won't buy you steak, but at it works steaks for you steak. Could. It, it yeah. works for steak. Yeah, might as well. Whatever you like. So you, speaking of traditions, who yeah. wants to start? Because you just got back from... Yeah, go ahead. Land. You, yeah, yeah. Well, I had a fun, fun uh, week. I did. Mm-hmm. So I went to California where my family lives, and I'm from California, but I have not been back to Disneyland in over 10 years. <gasps> Crazy wow. enough, because my family lives in Northern California, yeah. so it would just be, it's always such a hassle to try to go to Southern California mm-hmm. and then visit family in Northern California. Sure. So my son is at that age where we're right in between like Pixar and Cars and then getting into yeah. Marvel. Yeah. And I feel like <laughs> California Adventure is such a boy park. Like there's just so much boy things right. to mm-hmm. do. And I, I feel that more than any other Disney World park mm-hmm. where it's all packed into one. Yeah. So I felt like if I don't take him now at this age, I'm going to be regretting yeah, it. So it's I was like, opportunity. this is where, like, yeah. we need to go. So I let my family know, like, hey, if you want to join, this is what we're doing, but we're spending the first two days here, and then we'll come see you all. Well, they all decided they wanted to join, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Yes. It became a big family yeah. trip. So there were eight of us that went to Disneyland, and it was fantastic. Aww. I mean, as you know, so Disneyland special. has my heart. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I just feel like, and we had one day to kind of pack it in. We did the other day, just stayed at the hotel and mm-hmm. kind of enjoyed Anaheim. But that we were able to do everything and i mean awesome. there's a couple things we didn't do but it just mm-hmm. like our day we did 15 rides in one day it was did you do crazy. genie plus we did yeah and it works fantastic <laughs> out there and i know there's mixed reviews she here. texted me and goes this thing works awesome. i know it's amazing too, i know yeah. there's mixed yeah. reviews at disney world but literally so with genie plus at disneyland you can't buy it until or activate it until you walk into the park that right, day. Right, so right. it's not that 7 a.m. wake up oh. where you log in. You can't. So I think it puts everyone at more of a fair playing ground. Mm-hmm. So you go in, you then buy your Genie Plus right mm-hmm. there on the app. Um, I just did it for the whole family at one time. And then I went ahead and booked our first thing, which was mm-hmm. in like immediately. So immediately we went on Toy Story Media. Yeah. And then once we like did the barcode in the line, we were able to get a new one. And so we'd walk off the right and then walk onto another right so and then walk onto one, another right. One, oh. right after the other. Oh one after the other after like we didn't wait for us we didn't ever you didn't have, have a to gap. Wait two hours or something. Never like had that. a gap. Oh my god. It was well, like there so was so fun, much to where right? we were like, oh my gosh, like we were exhausted because <laughs> yeah. it was like, go, yeah, go, 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 go. This right. thing is working too well. <laughs> right. It's amazing. <laughs> um so we did Genie Plus. I highly recommend it for anyone who's yeah, going to Disneyland. And then of course we got to go to Cars Land, which is unique out there. And then the Avengers campus is spectacular where's the avengers campus in disneyland so it is as you're leaving like 
as you're going in, I guess, <clears throat> and you're heading out, you know where the Grizzly River Rapids yes, is? Yeah. It's kind of right around the corner from there. So, so it's, it's California Adventure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it's? Yeah, call it California Adventure? Yep. I sounded like a brain moment. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, And okay. so there they have Guardians of the Galaxy, which is, they've repurposed right. Tower right. of Terror, which is like 10 times like steeper of a drop. Really? really? It was crazy. Oh, my gosh. And then they have the web shooter, which is really fun because it's like the oh. Toy Story Mania, mm. but it's you're shooting 3D webs. Oh, yeah. Oh, and so fun. <laughs> I won this one. But like all the boys, are doing like this, right? Yeah. So if you just do this and like shimmy, <laughs> it shoots oh. a new web. Ooh, good to know. <laughs> so the I boys would... are literally like pouring sweat, like right, take right. this, take this. And Marissa's like, hmm. we'll be holding you yes. know web classes with yeah. Marissa. And so soon. yeah, we we did that. Spider-Man we had a like fantastic that. time, That's and incredible. then we went over to. So then we did the because um, you can do park hopper but you can't switch over to the parks till 1 p.m so then we went to disneyland for the other half of the day and we did our day there we Mm -hmm. did club 33 which we'll talk about a little bit and then as we were leaving we saw electrical parade the final the farewell to the electrical parade um on our way out which is so crazy because my mom was like how long has this been around (laughs) <laughs> and I was like, well, it's actually, they're celebrating 50 years of the electrical yes. parade. She's like, I was here 50 years ago. <laughs> so she like figured out that she was there during wow. like wow. the opening of the electrical parade. So and she, she got saw the, the opening and the closing. How special. Wow. So it was awesome. That's cool. But yeah, we had a great time. Awesome. That's yeah. wonderful. It looked like it. And, and it looked like Hayden loved Cars Land. Oh my gosh, yeah. So I, he, I he was conflicted, but yeah. like once he got there between that and like Avengers yeah. Campus. Spot, but yeah. I have yeah. to say like seeing pictures of him, I thought, He's he's been there, right? Like it just I I equate everything I see for cars. Yeah, I think of Caden right. every single time. So <laughs> just see. So well, yeah, and then right? we had my sister in law who just got hired in at Monera. Yeah. So I went with her, and then we saw Paul and Amy while we were there. Right. Oh, so yeah. we had like a reunion. <laughs> I love it. BBC I love it. I love California it. California Adventures. Yeah, it was awesome. That's All at the so same time. Great. Yeah, that's so I love wonderful. It. Yeah. That's What'd awesome. you do? Oh my gosh! You know what we did. We huh. went to, what's it called? Is it called Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party? <laughs> this or is why it's you? funny. So on our show notes, <laughs> where I put there, tell them what you said. So I'm looking at my show notes and I sit down and it says, it says, you know, uh, Derek's to talk about this and Marissa this. And it says, I say, Derek, what is minship? <laughs> Carrie to talk about minship. And he's like, what? I don't know what minship is. And Oh, it's Mickey's Not So Scary <laughs> Halloween Party. But I don't think there's an S in, no, a C in there. No, doing no the C. abbreviation for the word. <laughs> yes. So that was a pretty funny moment. But yes, we went to Not So Scary and haven't done it, of yeah. course, in a long time. Didn't do the smaller version last year. Um, bought a ticket, which as a former cast member, that was painful, I have to say, because I've never bought a ticket to any of these events. As an ambassador, you don't get like... Well, min- no. You don't get free minship tickets? <laughs> I, I don't get free minship tickets. No, I have an, I have an annual pass. Like I have not okay. yet, but like a main entrance right. pass that, that we do get like a gold right. pass. But no, hard ticket events, as Disney calls them, is off the table. Gotcha. But I have to say, it was well worth it. It was oh, well good. worth it. And I went in, I, I'll say, and I, I like to be very transparent and honest, I went in with a little bit of a bad attitude because I thought, I don't know, I've just not been thrilled all the time with some of the things at Disney and everything seems to be overcrowded. The, the park was picture perfect. Like I thought the crowds were at the right amount. There was a lot of people there, but you could do everything. Nice. You weren't fighting for spots and this and that. It felt like the old days when yeah. you bought a ticket to like a hard ticket event, a, a special party. That was the whole purpose of it was so that you could you could kind of do everything yeah. and see the shows and really take it all right. in. And I have to say the cast members, they were outstanding. Awesome. They were outstanding. We had so much fun just sitting on the curb waiting for the parade and this one cast member I think her name was Rebecca she was a college program student she hyped everybody up and then as she hyped everybody up she gave you all the rules so she 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 gave she like you bought into her and then she told you that you couldn't have your your feet your snacks your candy bags on the street because the headless horseman was to come and like that was non-negotiable <laughs> and I thought this this girl like she's probably 19 years old yeah. she's got a big job to do she was phenomenal and then of course the parade's awesome yeah. and all the little candy shops they also did a great job because it was thundering when we got there and so we we're like we're gonna get drenched and we didn't care you right. know if we did but um they had already moved like all the little candy locations undercover ah, so they took nice. some action to think about stuff like that. That and it just like I literally. Did you have a costume on? I did. Really? I did. It's funny you ask about a costume. <laughs> there better so, be a picture showing right mm, now, Jeff. So I know. Make sure Carrie sends you a so picture. So here's the thing. So I was spent the week in Indianapolis, right? And th- September 9th 
just crept up on Randy and I so fast and we were like, oh my gosh, we don't have a costume and we don't want to be those people. Like just wear a t-shirt and like a fun hat or something like that, right? And so I went to Amazon and I found just some cute little stuff to wear. Well, it said delivery on Wednesday, then it was moved to Thursday, then it was moved to Friday, then it was moved to Saturday. So I'm like, well, it's not going to happen. So Randy was Jesse inspired with the cowgirl hat and the little t-shirt, so cute. And I was like, I don't know, I just flew in. I've had an exhausting week and all I could find were my Club 33 years. Oh. So I was a Club 33 member. <laughs> <laughs> there you Very go. fitting and for no, the show. But fitting for the show, but I have to say, nobody asked and nobody cared. <laughs> and no, nobody cared. I walked around so proud, you know, with and everyone would say to her, oh my gosh, you look so cute as Jesse, or there's Buzz Lightyear, or there's Woody, or this, that. Everyone was tag teaming with Randy. And then they'd look at me and be like, oh, not, you know, didn't participate. And I was like, no, I did. See my ears? No one cared. <laughs> I know. You I want to know the backstory? Exactly. <laughs> Nobody cared about my costume that year. And I don't want to dress full up because it's so hot. You right. know, it's usually so hot and humid. The Ugh. weather was perfect that Did night you go too. on rides? We did. Yep. We did Splash Mountain. Okay. I think probably for the last time. Um, yeah, right. That was fantastic. Up, yeah. yeah. We did that. The only two that we missed because of the wait times were um, Haunted Mansion. And Snow White. Yeah. Snow White. Right? No, Snow White. Oh, oh Mine Train. Mine Train. Yeah. I was like, that, yeah. I think that's gone <laughs> away, Derek. Oh, Mine Train. We didn't. We opted not to do Mine Train. We could have. Right. But you have so many things to do. Right. You know, you want to see the shows. You want to see the parade. You want to see the fireworks. There's so many things to do. So you kind of do have to pick and choose. But we did enough that I thought we could you know kind of forego the parade but to me that's like oh that's the, like the big that's point that's the whole point yeah. of it that's, that's what, the whole point of exactly. it exactly right. so I I had my whole plan I don't know if I, if I told you this I put this on Facebook I had my whole plan I was going to get myself at 11 o'clock ice cream a late night ice cream and sit on Main Street like a good Disney guest does and enjoy the parade and the Main Street ice cream place closed at 9 o'clock <laughs> And I said to the cast member, really? And she said, I know. Like, she looked just as sad as I did. She said, but Starbucks is open. I said, well, that's not the same. So I went to Sunshine Terrace. Did she say, look at my Club 33 years? <laughs> she didn't care either. <laughs> she could care, care ice less. Cream. But I know. That was, to me, that was the only miss. Like, right. don't don't close the ice cream shop at 9 o'clock at night. Yeah. You know, when you have an 1115 parade. We're 1115 parade goers. So we're going to oh. sit and wait. And, but anyway, God. other than this that. This is the guy who's in bed by so 9. Exactly. 845, Derek's like, 1115. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, but you know what I did? I got the, I got the creamsicle. Um you know, like the, what's it called? The Dole Whip, oh, but the yeah. creamsicle yeah. flavored. Oh my gosh, oh, it was so good. That's Ooh. nice. Yeah, so it nice. was so much fun. Yay. It was so great. Are you guys gonna go at all this year? No. Okay, no, too late. I, I'm Derek's waiting like, for Caden to get a little that. older, because I, I, we're yeah. very, mm, I should say, like my husband is very like schedule time, yeah. so he gets worried <laughs> about like super late bedtime. Yeah. So we, I think next year we'll get a room and mm. stay there, because then we can go, we can enjoy it, we can go back to the room. Yep. So I feel like next year he'll be old enough There's to where so he can much stay to do. up later. Right. I, I, honestly, there, I did not see, I mean, there, of course, there were kids there. Yeah. But not in abundance like you normally see. And then those who were, at by 930, they were passed out. Yep. Exhausted. Cost, oh, yeah. Costumes were hanging off. Right. Like, you know. Like, so you, that sounds not so fun. It's not yeah. so fun. Yeah, it's not so scary, but it's also not so fun to have. No, but so, nobody posts yeah. those pictures no, on Facebook. No, everybody posts it's the, always you know, the start the of the picture, day. Yes. Yeah, the perfect picture at <laughs> the beginning of the day. We had, we had a great time going through all, you know, everything in the map, kind of picking out what you want to do. They had. They also had like little places where you could get, um, you know, different like little treats and cupcakes and whatever it's called. <laughs> you know, like to, like Instagrammable yeah. moments is right. what yeah. I kind of call them, like the specialty treats. So it was it was really fun. We didn't partake in any of that because um, I didn't get my ice cream, but it was it was great. That's it fun. was they did a they did a really great job. We're gonna yeah. touch on later. A little bit shortly. Um, the other Halloween party that's down here, that's down the street uh-huh. from Mickey's Not So Scary. <laughs> yeah. It's the opposite of Mickey's Not So Scary. Yeah, no, uh, we, I only do Not So Scary. <laughs> but I'm going to the beach club for my son's birthday oh, coming fun. up this Friday. We were able to log online. We found a one bedroom at the beach club. Stop it. So yeah, last that's week exciting. we actually went for my wife's birthday. We just went to Epcot for the afternoon, which uh-huh. is amazing. And the whole point of this story is that we A, <laughs> Got to go on Guardians of the Galaxy oh, Cosmic Ray. What did you get? Uh, we got, uh, I ran, ran so far away. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're like, oh. Well, those poor people that had to listen to yeah. that on the right. What's the name of that? I don't know that even Flock of Seagulls. All right. I ran. Right. Okay, yeah. Anyway. I got it. I know the song. The I ride was amazing. You need yeah. to come to the, <laughs> the brewery for bingo because yeah, yeah. they play lots of songs like that that I don't know. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what time does bingo start? It better not be too late. Yeah, 5.30. <laughs> it's at 5. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're right. done by 7. Grab my coffee and play exactly. some bingo. Oh I love gosh. it. But, but did yeah. you love Guardians? It was amazing. It literally so is great. now, hands down, bar none, my favorite yeah. ride on Disney it's property. So fun. It's, it's so just, great. 
fun. Like, yeah. I know it sounds stupid just to say, oh, how was it? It was fun. Yeah. It literally is so much fun. If yeah. you haven't done it, God, it's amazing. So I can't wait to do it again this Friday. Because your my... boys haven't been, right? No, okay. they have not been. So we're going to take them. Now, did you do, do the, you did the, the. Woke up in the morning. Yeah. yeah. The whole thing. The Lightning virtual light. queue. No, virtual queue. Oh, yeah. was it virtual queue? Mm-hmm. It's straight. Yeah. Virtual so queue. We did the virtual okay. queue. So my wife woke up at, you know, we all woke up at seven and then boom, got on right away. Yep. It said like boarding group, like 57 or something. But as the day goes on, it kind of, you know, tells you what time you actually have to be able so to get there. That, so is that just the afternoon, right? Because you yeah. have to be in the park. We got on, I think it was like 11 a.m. You don't oh. have to be in the park to do it. No. Right? It's just 7 uh-uh. a.m. You, you can no. do it from Not home. Not for the virtual. Okay. I thought For the virtual crew, we did it from home. I thought we thought it was like from the, the opening to like two or so. You and had then to be there's in the park. another one. No, and then the other one starts at two. Right? The other okay. one starts at one or two. And that, that you have have to, to be, be in the, in the park, park for. Okay, so the afternoon one you do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so you're yeah, asking <laughs> the hard hitting <laughs> questions because I don't know and I'm sure you don't know either. Okay, so you have to be in the park for the yeah. afternoon one so you can do the morning one from home. Yeah. That makes much more sense than the way but I But it's thinking. a little bit better of a time of year, which is why yeah. I was happy because I tried to do it in the summer and I'm telling you, I had like 18 clocks, world <laughs> clocks ready to go at <laughs> right. 7 a.m., but it was during the busy summer. Yeah. And I was like, I did it right off the bat and I was like, all full. And I was like, how yeah. is that possible? I'm going to assume though you do need the park res. Right? Oh, you yeah. 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 In, in yeah. order to get that. But the okay. one, once you get it, you just click it and go, and oh, then you show up so on time exciting. and breathe through the queue is amazing. The ride is just so, know, so much good. fun. So, yeah, being able to stroll around the food booth during Food and Wine Festival, which was, it was amazing. <laughs> and then out of there by like, 2 p.m. and time to pick up my son from school. So it was a <laughs> perfect. perfect afternoon birthday with He's me and Annie. Birthday weekend. It was great. It was Happy great. birthday to Annie. Yeah. So speaking her. of food and wine festival, oh my gosh, watch this food... segue as I, I toss it to you for the market you are, updates. You are the king of segues, <laughs> or the prince of segues now. Um, yeah, so you know what it is? It's the 11-month booking window for August 2023, if you can believe it or not. Start planning now for Food and Wine Festival for Mickey's Not So Scary, Boo to You Halloween, or to come down and stay at Disney and go up the street to Halloween Horror Nights even. So it's the 11-month window right now for um, August 2023, and also the seven-month booking window um, for springtime. Ah, So think about now, like spring break and the kids coming out of school and the Flower and Garden Festival, which now I feel like Flower and Garden Festival is also like a little mini Food and Wine Festival. It is. It is. And all the, the great acts and everything, and even um, the Disney Broadway series that comes usually in January and yes. February is a great time. So if you're looking to book your reservations um, or rent out your reservations mm-hmm. or any of your points, DVC Rental Store is going to be your go-to spot as always. We are open to take your reservations, to take the points and give them to a guest. And if you're a guest looking to try before you buy, if you haven't decided on a contract just yet, um, if you're looking to, you know, just say I'm not really wanting to buy a contract, but we want to do Disney, but we want to stay more deluxe in a mm-hmm. one bedroom or two bedroom. We want to stay right on the monorail or maybe do something around the beach club and walkable to Epcot so you can walk I'll there. i walk with you at Epcot. Exactly. Walk there, <laughs> have something to eat and drink and then walk back or stumble back as maybe some people do. Um, but this is the seven month booking window and so you don't want to miss that either. Um, so DVCRentalStore.com, that's going to be your place to go for spring mm-hmm. break, Easter, Love it. coming up for food and wine next year. Start planning. I'm a planner. Are y'all planners? Yeah, yeah. I like to be a planner. I know with, where we're I'm local. Not. I know you're not. Yeah. <laughs> where we're local, we don't plan as much because we don't really need to. We're literally up the street. Right. But if I'm going somewhere else, you know, I am kind of that year planner To if I'm traveling outside of the state of Florida. So, yeah, it's really important to do that, especially with DVC. Yes. The other thing, too, is um, the swap programs. We did a show. Was it the May show? I think it was. I think it was our May show, was our swap show. If you've not um, seen the show that Derek and Marissa did from Universal Studios, it is fantastic. And that is, I think, in May. Go back through World of DVC and find that show. But it talks all about our swap programs with the Cruise Line, um, the Star Cruiser, Adventures by Disney, where you as members can say, you know, if I'm not going to use my points to go to Walt Disney World, maybe I want to give them to DVC Rental Store, swap them out, they can rent them out, and then you can take an Adventures by Disney or come and do the Star Cruiser That's or awesome. go to Universal Studios. Yeah. Um, so the swap program is, it's it's huge. And it's such a time saver as far as you don't have to do much of the planning um, and you don't have to do much of the thinking as far as where are you going to, how many points to give over, what's the cost per point, anything like that. The experts at our DVC rental store is going to walk you through all of Let that. Let the experts do the heavy lifting. Oh my lifting. gosh, they're so good. <laughs> don't yeah. hurt yourself. We'll well, do don't it. hurt Another yourself. thing yeah. with that, just to jump in here really quickly, is the universal swaps. And yes. I think what's been so cool about those yeah. is people go, oh my gosh, it uses so few points, right? It does. And then on yeah. top of that, you can book everything from your express passes to your park tickets. Yep. And so in the theme of kind of Halloween coming up and all right. of that, Halloween Horror Nights, if you are looking to do that as a DVC member, 
this is the best way to do it because mm-hmm. you can take your points, yeah. you can use yep. them for your tickets at Halloween Horror Nights. Mm-hmm. You can use them to stay a night there if you want to stay while you're at Universal. So yep. it's a great way to utilize your points. Uh, I know you have a trip coming up to Halloween Horror Nights. Yes. I got to do one of the first uh, RIP events. And so because we are now partnering with right. Universal, mm-hmm. they let us come to the RIP event, which is their like VIP tour. <laughs> And it, did you get an invite to that? <laughs> no, because uh, well, I didn't want well, an invite to mind. that. I did, but I didn't want to go. I am not so scary. Remember, I'm not so scary. But it was awesome. Yeah. So yeah. The, Universal is celebrating their 31st year of Halloween Horror Nights. It's so so it's it goes with crazy. Halloween's on the 31st day, right? So, so they really went very classic with everything, yeah. which I thought was so cool. So everything is very old school. So it's very like Charleston and like the early 1900s, and it's oh. kind of got that feel and that vibe around. So even all the ghosts are kind of like old school, like flappers, and some of the houses are that way. But then they run after you with chainsaws. Well, and yes, axes that and stuff, too. Right? But it, it had this like classy Halloween feel. <laughs> a classy uh, chainsaw. Classy serial killer. <laughs> I thought it was it was one of the. If I'm least, going to die. You might as well I, look dapper. I, I would. I. That's my kind of serial killer, actually, Marissa. I gotcha. I like it. Did you want me to keep going? Or yeah, we're no. going serial killer over here. <laughs> Go ahead. You we're done. Take it over. But it was one of the less scary ones that I've been to. So if you're looking oh. to go, um, <laughs> but not. I thought the the attention to detail and costuming and just the overall ambiance was probably like ten out of ten compared nice. to all the years that I've been. Nice. The food was great. Mm. It was awesome. And if you have ever done a VIP tour or yeah. haven't done one, yeah, it's incredible. We did ten houses in three hours. Yeah, that's crazy. And we stopped for like drinks along the oh way, so God. it was awesome. How does it work with food and beverage? Are, like the restaurants open or like little stands open or things like that? Okay, yes. so you can do either. And the stands were actually like quite good. Yeah. So I came in like maybe I should eat something before, and then <laughs> right. I ran out of time. Um, very very good food oh, too. So yeah, nice. and it's fun to make a whole evening out of it because we always go mm-hmm. to one of the City Walk restaurants before, yeah. Yeah. and then we do the horn nights and we do it. And again, it's just the one time a year that we go. Yeah, my kids go. My wife's coming with me for the first time this year, and my brother and everybody. So oh, it is so much fun. It literally is the complete opposite of uh, <laughs> Mickey's not so scary Halloween party where we want to scare you but not too much. No, exactly. Uni- Universal's like we're going to scare you. Look but out. Apparently, it's in a very dapper sort of a it's way. It's so fine. <laughs> yeah, which I, which I, I like cool. it. I like it. Now, do you dress up for Halloween Horror Nights or no? No. no. Yeah, no, you don't. If you're going to be no. killed. I might wear this. You know what I got to wear? What would you this? wear? Um, our friends, the Lost Bros, sent oh. me a t shirt. So I won one of their, I wore Did you one really? of, yeah, one of their vintage <laughs> Universal Tour shirts. Amazing. Which is awesome. I got tons of compliments on See, it. See, that's so cool. That's yeah. awesome. Wonderful. So if you're looking for something to wear, yeah, the shameless Lost plug. They have a ton of cool stuff. Visit our friends at the Lost Bros. Yeah, they have a ton of really cool stuff. So All right. Oh, what else do we have to talk about? Yeah, so with DVC Resale Market, we have a new promotion going on. You want to tell them about it? Do I get to tell them? Sure. Do I get to tell them the news? (laughs) You know what it is? Yes, yes, I'm going to tell them. Uh, Yeah, so we have a few left. So make sure if you're listening, watching all this, check out our website because we've got some listings that have all the points for 2022 where basically you can buy those listings and you will not have to pay any dues on those 2022 points. And normally as a buyer, if you're getting full points, you're typically responsible for paying the dues. But in this scenario, with this limited time promotion, you're going to be able to to get the points, yeah, all of the mm-hmm. points, and not have any dues on them. So it's like free points. Yeah. So, so take them yeah. and bank them and roll them into yeah. next year. So literally, if you find a rent listing em? for 50 points, <laughs> rent, rent them. them. Hello. Rent them. Yeah, no matter great. what number of points. Right. So if it's a 50-point listing that has 50 points for 2022 or a 300-point listing with all the points for 2022, you will not have to pay those annual dues for the 2022 points, That's which awesome. is crazy. Yep. It's, it's a great awesome. time. And so we've really seen the market shift where it's mm-hmm. like 2020, 2021, it was very heavy a seller's market, right? Yeah. We had we couldn't keep listings on the site. Mm-hmm. And then we got to a point where we did have a really nice influx yeah. of listings and buyers who've been in the wings saying, hey, I'm looking to buy. We had like over 700 listings to choose from. Now we're probably right around that 300 listings available. So it's dropped down almost in half. Yeah. So we're kind of right. reaching probably that phase out point. So if you are a buyer, this is probably the phase out of the buyer's market. So if you've been sitting in the wings waiting, Mm. this is the time to jump on that, especially with these promotions. Sellers being a bit more negotiable. So again, reach out to us if you have questions on that, dvcresellmarket.com. If you are a seller, this is a good time to start thinking about that as we're starting to see possibly a shift to more of a seller's market. Mm -hmm. But with that too, one thing that we don't do a lot of promotion on is we do have a guaranteed sale option for our Mm -hmm. sellers. So if you're saying, hey, I don't want to worry about it being on the market. I am just done. 
I want it sold, we will have the option to buy that contract from you at a set price. Of course, with Magic Vacation Title being in-house and part mm-hmm. of our world of DVC company, we have the ability to close these contracts in typically 45 days. Wow. So when you look at like, hey, I'm done, I'm over it, I want my money, or if you're planning, like I had a family who said, hey, we're buying a house and we've loved DVC, but now we need to make our DVC work for us. Right. So we need the cash now. We want to put a large deposit on the house and they have five contracts mm-hmm. so it's going to do a big dent on that yeah. deposit and they're going to get that yeah. in 45 days wow. so it is a great time for sellers to start mm-hmm. thinking through yeah. that as well and after they settle into their new house they can come they back can and buy, buy a small yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah. OTC, which is not unusual yeah. uh, so that's some of the latest news at dvc resale market and then overall with world of dvc we have a very exciting announcement that we launched this last week yeah. and that's our partnership with sunshine flyer uh, so yeah. sunshine flyer is basically the new Magical Express, right? And they have done a fantastic Mm -hmm. job of really theming and making it special. And I know like as a mom, if I'm looking at, hey, what do I wanna do for travel when I'm leaving the airport Mm -hmm. and going to the parks? Am I gonna take like a regular bus or an Uber or am I gonna take the super cool bus that looks like a train (laughs) train. and my son gets a conductor conductor hat? We're gonna be on Sunshine (laughs) Flyer. So the great thing with this partnership is that we do offer it at the best price. So it is Mm -hmm. the most affordable way to travel, but really truly it is the best way to travel from the airport. They actually guarantee that your time from the airport to when you hit your Disney resort will be less than 60 minutes, which is fantastic. It's much faster than you're gonna find with a lot of the other travel options Mm -hmm. and much faster than Magical Express Mm -hmm. was. So if you're looking to do that, head over to dvcrentalstore.com on that drop down under guest, check out the Sunshine Flyer tab and you can book it right online there. Whether you are renting points or not, you can book that for your travel. Mm -hmm. I've heard awesome stories from it. It's so great, I met the guys who, who who created it and it, it's just it's a phenomenal story they're disney guests disney fans and so you get that disney element of service and that attention to detail that marissa mentioned with the, the conductor hat and just that really that theming that yeah. we're all so used to that when you step off the airplane the great thing about magical express is like that's your vacation started yeah. right there it oh, didn't yeah. start 45 minutes later right. and i feel like you can you can still have that same feeling with with sunshine flyer it's great so we're packed with news today I know. I know. we've got a, a so topic of things. club 33 to get yeah. to but before we jump into club 33 yeah. this week we have had d23 D yes. and i know we've been on our that was a professional <laughs> segue do you see that one i get paid for that one <laughs> uh, but we've been on our phones whether that's been like instagram or YouTube yeah. and kind of getting like the bits and pieces and there have been some exciting news and so yeah. whether that is the park updates or the Disney Plus updates yeah. but park updates what are some of your favorites that you've heard so far well happily ever after yeah. has got to take the cake right <laughs> yes. I mean that was just the you could hear watching you could hear that you could feel the excitement. social media oh that my gosh like, that day was blowing yeah up. and we, watching, and we all, that, right? watching that that live that stream live, yeah that live stream watching it when they had all the singers come out and yeah. they're like why are they opening the parks presentation? Why are these people singing uh, right. happily ever after? Oh my oh. god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Yes. And then he finally just made the announcement. Yeah. People jumped up and screaming. You could and just feel it. Our friends, the Lost Bros, I could feel them crying yeah. with like excitement. Well, it's funny. Oh. Have you? So Lex is on Instagram as mm-hmm. like the pixie dust mm-hmm. traveler. Yeah. Have you seen her? Like oh, she yeah. did a a reel that was a rain dance oh. to hope to bring back. This was <laughs> like so a month cute. ago. A month oh ago. my god! She uses like the dub voice from the what's the wedding one with Sandra Bullock. Oh. I don't know. You know, know how they do the rain dance? Yeah, yeah. And I don't know what Ryan it is. Ryan Reynolds yeah. and Sandra yeah. Bullock. Anyway, she does the a whole proposal. reel on that. The proposal. It, it yes. works. She does a reel on that it for worked. like the rain dance part. So oh my gosh. we can thank Lex for that. Yes. <laughs> what, what do we want to happen in life? We'll just have Lex do a rain dance for us. It was so fun. I had a bunch of friends who were like influencers, like in that influencer market with, with Disney. And you could just feel it. Like they just were a mess and excited. And yeah. I think that's the best news to come out because it's, it's you know, I mean, I'm, there's a lot there's and a we're not gonna go through all of it. No, no, no. There's so But you know what else much. too, like just to go off the beaten path for just a moment, just because this is my lane is, is the ambassadors were there. The, the, they had a whole ambassador panel. And if you don't know the, um, the original ambassador, she was Miss Disneyland, Tencennial, Julie Ream. And she was hand selected by Walt Disney and wow. to work with Walt Disney. And so if you YouTube her, go and go and Google her and YouTube, Walt Disney and Julie Ream, and he introduces her and her famous line. Do you know her famous line is? No. When he introduces her, he's showing her a new model of some, of one of the attractions at, at Disneyland, and he introduces her as Miss Disneyland Tencennial, and she looks right at the camera and she says, "How do you do?" 
And that is her like, oh, I have chills. Like <laughs> she's in her her ambassador tour guide outfit. Well, she was there at D23 oh, wow. along with Connie Lane, who I think Connie was 67 or 68, another right close with Walt Disney the entire time. And then Debbie Dane Brown, our right. our friend of our show, Debbie Dane Brown, who was the Walt Disney World's first ambassador. Wow. And she was on our twenty our fiftieth. Oh my gosh, I almost said twenty fifth. She's on our fiftieth anniversary show. So if you go back to last October. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm so excited. I know. If you go back to last October show, she was our, our guest, Marissa, and I interviewed her in the Magic Kingdom in front of the Speedway. <laughs> Such a, we need to have her as an official need, guest. Yeah, we need and to have her ambassador her show. here because she's so fabulous. And just her stories are great. But they did this whole ambassador panel um, discussion with the three of them. And you just think about the history and the stories. And these three ladies saw it come from the ground up yeah, and, and really paved the way. So that was my happily ever after is wonderful. And that was a highlight. But those three yeah. ladies are definitely my highlight. Yeah. That's great. The yeah. the Disney treasure, the new ship with oh, all the of the treasure. Oh, wow. yeah. I think yeah. Derek and I the, the biggest moment for us was like they're going they're going to Australia yeah. and Fiji and we're not on the cruise team anymore. <laughs> And you're not going to be back Our on the cruise team either. When, when they said they're sending the wonder, I was like, what? They're going to Australia and they're going to Fiji and they're going to New Zealand. And then there's a whole other brand yeah. new ship. I think everybody completely forgot, at least I did, that there was another ship because there's been so much stuff about the I, wish, I, wish, I, wish, I, wish. I agree with you. I did. Like, oh when my God, said, there's another one. That's what I said. I said the treasure. <laughs> I don't remember another. And I thought, you know what? I think yeah. our heads have been around the wish yep. yeah. that we forgot about the treasure. Yeah. But I love the name. I know. I think I do. Too. Right. Yeah, and it's, it's just one of those events. Before we start talking about, of course, all the pulling the curtain back behind Club Thirty Three, is I, I think everybody D Twenty Three is kind of what you make of it, you know. Yeah. So I kind of you have to have the right expectations just kind of like coming anything. in. Yeah. If you're gonna go into it with the expectation that hey, I think they're hopefully they're gonna announce the fifth gate, you know, that they're gonna announce a whole new theme park, right. you might be disappointed when they come out and go, <laughs> yeah. you can meet Figment in two thousand twenty three. Yeah. You know, you might yeah. cue the sad trombone noise, but. <laughs> There's enough stuff, and that's what's so exciting. So what, whether you're overseas or whether you're at Disneyland, and it's sometimes fun to be able to say, you know, we live here at Walt Disney World, so mm -hmm. we're like, I want everything here. I yeah. want all the cool stuff to come here. I don't want it to go to California. I don't go to California. <laughs> no. But it's awesome for that, and that's yeah. what makes it just fantastic. But I think, so. too, like I'm such a Disney traditionalist. I think all three of us kind of are um, at heart. And so I love the new stuff, but I am so nostalgic for the old stuff, the yeah. original stuff. And just doing, you know, going to the Halloween party the other night, I, we wrote Cinderella's Carousel. Yeah. I can't tell you the last time I did that. You know, we did Small World. And I know, I think Small World gets a little bit of a bad rap with the song, but it was just something so special about doing those original attractions. Yeah. Um, just taking in Main Street. So I, I like you, I, I look at D23 and go, you know, it can't always be pomp and circumstance of like we're having this major, right. major, major every year announcement. Sometimes just as Disney fans and, and Disney traditionalists, we have to look at it and go, you know what, you got to go for the for the atmosphere and the environment and kind of that where it all started. And that's why I just love the the original attractions. Yeah. yeah. But I'll go on the Disney treasure, too. I'll, I'll try the new stuff. And Tron is going <laughs> to open up after 87 oh, years. Finally. So we're that's excited. exciting. Tron's yes. going to open. I think it's going to be Avatar in terms of its time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is. It is. Oh, my gosh. So from D D23... To Club 30. To Club 30. Speaking of classic and tradition. And yes. dapper. And tradition. Yeah. Yes. Everything. I'm excited. So, so yeah. You I, guys take this away because well, this is all you. I'm here's just gonna... the thing. I got to dine at Club 33 yeah. at Disneyland. And so I got to get like a little taste, right? But Carrie, I haven't like sat and heard the history, right? Like, why did it start? Right. What's the name? Where or did the history the name of the from? name? Yes. And how did it develop from Disneyland? How did they think about Disney World? Yeah. I don't know if you have all these answers, but I'm going <laughs> to put you on the yeah. top. And you <laughs> probably have a bunch of people too. I mean, right. we know they're all Disney fans, but some yeah. people might honestly be like, what do they keep talking about? Right. Club, Club 33. 33. Like, what is it? What it's is true. it? What is it? Because if you don't know, you just might, you will pass it without yeah. even noticing it right. at, you know, at some of the theme parks. But, you know, what's so great is that you don't need to pull the curtain back all the way to understand understand some of the secrets um, because they are out there. But, you know, we want to be true to the experience of our members and of the members, too, to say some things are just truly Club 33 specific. Um, but I will I will share with you, you know, like you said, Marissa, kind of where did it come from? Right. Where did this this idea come from? So it came from Walt Disney um, and really his team to say Walt wanted a place where he could entertain executives um, you know, heads of state, celebrities, and not in a theme park environment where 
they're going to go to the Blue Bayou, say, and sit at a table where other guests are going to come over and potentially bother everybody. Um, you know, not that Walt didn't love that. He did. He was a, he was definitely with the people, but he wanted to be able to entertain in a, in a private way. I have to jump in really yeah. quick. So I <laughs> was eating at the Blue Bayou one day. Right. Okay. Speaking of celebrities at the Blue Bayou, <laughs> and Paris Hilton's sitting right next to me. Uh. And so, <laughs> and she gets the drink, you know, the kids drink with the light up little globe yep. thing. She gets the drink with Tinkerbell and she's like, Tinkerbell, like my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to jump in with the funny moment <laughs> of Blue Bayou and Walt Disney, Paris Hilton. <laughs> Paris Hilton. She yes. wasn't in Club 33. I saw her at Blue Bayou. Interesting she wasn't <laughs> at Club 33. Yeah, you, you really do have to be a member to, to, to get into Club 33 or know a member yeah. uh, in Disneyland. But yes, so he wanted a place that he could he could host, you know, dignitaries basically and, and celebrities. And, you know, back then in the 60s, they wanted to have this cigar room and right. their their whiskey room and, you know, retur- retire to the library while the ladies sip tea. And I mean, that's literally what it was. What it was built for with many different rooms. You're laughing, but it's true. No, I just like your affect. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's very la di da, very formal. You know, the ladies sip tea. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's just what it was. And so they, they wanted this, this, this environment, right? And Club 33, the name goes back. This was from Dave Smith. So anybody who writes in and says, that's oh. not true. I'm going off of Dave Smith. I think there's a million myths out there. It was 33 was Walt's favorite number. It was, you know, whatever it might be. But if but it's coming from Dave Smith, it's that's from, literally from that's Disney historian. The Mac Daddy. Yes, yeah. may he rest peacefully. Uh, he Because he wrote the Disney Encyclopedia. Right. And I've had many conversations with Dave Smith. But anyway, so when you think about New Orleans Square in, in Disneyland, you think about New Orleans, the numbers of the buildings are written in mm-hmm. big, lad, you know, big numbers on, on all of the buildings, 12, 11, whatever. And so 33 was there. And Walt needed a liquor license because that was going to be the only place at Disneyland where he was going to serve alcohol. And he didn't want to register Disneyland to have a liquor license because that was not oh. the purpose of Disneyland, right? right? There was going to be no alcohol served. So they needed an address. And there was this little storage area above New Orleans Square where Lillian would really house all of her antiques when they shop. They used to love to travel and shop a lot. Well, she would buy, she was known to buy a lot of antiques and they had a little tiny apartment in Disneyland that was right above the fire station and the lamp is still on. They leave the light on every night for Walt Disney. And that apartment is probably the size of this room, which is not that big. And they had a little tiny kitchenette where he would make his grilled cheese sandwiches and she would have her Parisian rug and she'd have her Morocco, you know, sideboard table and this and that. Well, she would just keep buying all these things and he'd say you can't put them in the apartment so she would store them secretly throughout disneyland and she stored hoarding before hoarding was popular well, yes lily and disney was a hoarder before it was on you know whatever amc where whatever she had tlc whatever it's on and so um Anyway, so that so people used to say like, oh, put that in, in 33. That's up in 33 because that was Lillian's place. And so that they determined that, that was a great space for this this lounge, this this club to be. And they registered it as Club 33 so that they could have a liquor license up there and be able to serve any type. No, not just wine, but wine, alcohol, whatever they needed. And that's where the name came from. Yeah. So myths See, dispelled. So cool. If you think it was Walt's favorite number, it just it was kind of a simple. Right. A, a simple way of just getting a liquor license that like <laughs> people have turned it into like this concoction of a story where it's very basic. It's kind of a business decision is really what it was. So when it opened, mm-hmm. then he would just invite his own like private guest to so come in. Did you know that he never attended Club 33 because Walt Disney passed away before it opened? Oh, really? Yeah. So he never got a chance to attend Club 33. That was his vision and his dream. Yeah. It was really one of his last projects that he worked on okay um of course epcot was was in the works and and whatnot and on paper but as far as like an actual project that was one of his last ones that he worked on so he never attended never wow. went to club 33 wow. as as you know the entertainer as walt disney right yeah so then did they wow. quickly then turn it into like a membership option before they opened they were always going to do a membership okay. option but he, he was going to be able to have it of course anytime right well disney so of course he could but they were always going <laughs> to use it he didn't need a membership uh, <laughs> he was always going to do it use it as a membership as kind of a private club okay like a country club a local golf club or whatnot yeah yeah gotcha yeah and then at at what point or how long into it maybe you know maybe you don't know but then did they start to say okay if you're in the general public we've only got a few spots left and here's the process for you to try to get into the club like when did it change from okay it's only going to be a select people word that of only mouth know about like it. actually promotion word of mouth with special you know passwords and- <laughs> I don't know what that is. 
go to the That's door and do the timey thing you're doing. <laughs> yeah, you go to the door, you got to do this. Right. Slide your, that thing yeah, over. Your, your secret handshake. Yeah. So that we really still don't promote it. Um, when you think about like club magazines right. or, you know, the club core or anything like that, like any private club, yeah. um, it's really not in any magazine. Um, and then when I worked for Club 33, because I was a sales manager for Club 33, um, that was my last position with Disney in 2020. And we were kind of in that works of saying, do we want to do something in print and put it in like a Club Core magazine or maybe something in Disney Vacation Club? And I think they did. We did a little bit of some marketing here and there, but it was very small and like very um, sparse. It it wasn't around a lot because we wanted it to be and, and back in the 60s, wanted it to be word of mouth. Great people, no great people, no great people. So, you know, if, if I'm a Club 33 member and you're two of my best friends, I'm going to say, hey, Derek, Marissa, you guys should come right. and join this. And then almost by just, you know, recommendation, it's like, oh, well, Derek and Marissa are here. They're friends of Carrie's. They must be good. And so we kind of still have that today. Even I, Well, I shouldn't say today. But when I was a sales manager, that if there was a member recommendation, it was taken very seriously. So there's no, um, even to this day, you still cannot... Um, you know, kind of pick up the phone and call. You can't, um, you have to send in like an inquiry uh, into their inbox right. and then it's it's anyone's game from there. There's, um, it's just, a, it's a whole yeah, process. I imagine that they don't have to like take out ads saying, no, oh my right. God, we're, we're hurting for people. Yeah. I imagine no. it's an, I don't know if you can go into it, but like, is yeah. there wait lists involved? And there is, all of that? yeah. There's, um, I don't know where the wait lists stand right now. Of course, rumor has it that Disneyland has like a 55-year right. wait list. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's true. I'm it's not like really that sure. that and trying to buy the Grand California. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> the list goes on for days, for years, actually. I don't know if there's a waiting list for Walt well, Disney World. Right. When I worked there, um, we didn't have... There was a waiting list, actually, because it had to be, everything had to be, be sort of timed well. Right. Because um, you don't want to overload the club with, you know, the latest groups of people right mm-hmm. it's a very small group of people's amount of people that are going to be uh, able to come in to the club and i already know what people are thinking how many members do they allow in disneyland and right. in Walt disney world and those are numbers that i am not at liberty to say because i honestly don't know anybody oh i was gonna either. say but you know them i don't know them anymore no not anymore it's been two years <laughs> how long do we need to stay here to get that answer say, it says right show? here on the sheet beg <laughs> carrie to reveal the numbers no she will say no you, it's very small it's less than one percent of Walt, the guests at walt disney world when i worked for walt disney world so very small amount of guests. I feel like with Disneyland, and I guess just during my time working yeah. there, uh, that it was kind of this like hidden like celebrity phenomenon. Right. And was that just something, again, like word of mouth that you think just kind of evolved into that mm-hmm. atmosphere as well with the entertainment of because Hollywood? I, yeah. I imagine being like at Disneyland that if I'm a guest and all of a sudden I see people go right. to this random this door, door yeah. and right. then they go in, like it's just human nature. You just want to be like, Oh, I think that? I'll go too. <laughs> right. and then, Who's that? What's behind the door? Right. How do you get there? Yeah. It still has that mystique because when you walk by Magic Kingdoms, Epcot, Hollywood Studios. Are you allowed to say where they're at? No, or? of course. No. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you could find them. But absolutely, like, go go find them because they're so it's so fun to see. You've got the the pad like where you'll, you'll scan your Magic Band if you're a member and it says 33 on it. But you'll walk right by it half the time. Okay. So if you're at Hollywood Studios, when you come into the Brown Derby. Take a left. I'm writing this down. Write this down. <laughs> Hang a left as if you're going to go to the restrooms, and it's that elevator that's right there, and you'll see it. It says 33 on it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think I know where that. Okay. All right. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. So Ma- uh, Magic Kingdom is Adventureland. Right as you cross over that bridge on the right hand side, it used to be a character meet and greet. I forget who was there. Off the top. <sighs> like I think Tarzan yeah. was there, or Stitch, or somebody. Um, I forget who was there, but it was a character meet and greet. There's that little, ver- not a veranda, but yes, like there a, is okay. a veranda yeah. at the okay. top. Yep. Okay. So members, if you see anybody up on a veranda with a cup of tea or a glass of champagne or anything like that, they're say, Club 33 It's members. Paris Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tinkerbell. Hey there. <laughs> right. So that's the one in Magic Kingdom yep. is over oh, there. To, to okay. uh, Adventureland. And then um, Animal Kingdom is a little bit further back. It's... Um, Oh gosh, Animal Kingdom. I can I can picture exactly where it's at, where the Lion King show is, the new Lion okay. King show. Right. It's back in that yeah. area, and you can really it's a you see it kind of it, it looks like it's raised up like a little bit on a mountain, but it looks um it's white with these beautiful like archway windows. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. And then what's the last one? Epcot. Epcot, Epcot is over. Um, this one people I feel like people stand by this door all the time and like regroup. Okay. And, you know, all the time. And, and then walk away and be like, Where did Club, where's Club 33? We have no idea. I'm like, just stood by the door, actually. So if you're looking at the American Adventure, so yeah. the theater's behind you, right. and the, the attraction's right in front of you, right. the mm-hmm. door's to the right. Oh. And you'll see that too. Oh. It's a little bit pushed back. Yeah. It's a little alcove. Oh. It's says 33 right there. So by the, by the gift shop. 
Like yep, in between the, the merchandise shop oh. and the attractions. The Club 33 at Epcot was the old American Express VIP okay. lounge. Interesting. Oh, and yeah. The, yes, right up there. Up so they completely there. refurbished it. And uh, you know what's also different between Disneyland and Club 33, which Marissa, you experienced, yeah. was Disneyland is a full dinner, uh -huh. Club 33, where you're going to go and you're going to get a little bit dressed up. Yep. Um, you're going to have a nice, beautiful, formal dinner. Club 33 and Walt Disney World, when we were designing it, um, I was on part of the opening team. I came right at the end as we were opening it. And we didn't want to have something that guests had to dress formal for or dress up for, if you can imagine, right? Right. Traipsing through Epcot, especially this time right. of the year, right? With the proper shoes. Oh, my gosh. With the right shoes and a, or a jacket for the gentleman yeah. or anything like that. You're <laughs> that's mess. why I don't go. That's why you don't go. <laughs> oh, exactly. that's why. <laughs> Is that, that, now we know. Now we know. Can you imagine them traipsing <laughs> no. through? Oh, no, no, no. You, no. You'd be a mess by the time yes. you made it all the way around. So it's much more casual. It's more casual. Um, it's really park attire. Okay. It's really all that okay. it is. Yeah. But you're not going to have the full dinner. You can go for little light bites and it'll, like take a little a little break, get some air conditioning. Now, you might not be able to say this. Right. I, I know like we can't talk. <laughs> That's how we start every question. I know. I know we can't talk cost. However, it, it's funny because I was on the tram one day and this girl was sitting with her mom and she's like, yeah. oh, yeah, Club 33. That's the place that um, Tom Hanks is part of. And oh. he has a special room there, you oh. know, and he gets to stay every time he comes. So like there, there's these wild rumors that yeah. grow, right? Where it's, it's not just a place now with a lounge. No. It has become a whole like there's a secret place, <laughs> villa area where you sleep at night. <laughs> So, what can rides. you tell us? What like the, the <laughs> perks are of membership? Are you mm -hmm. are you able to disclose? That? I mean, again, some things may have changed, yep. um, and I certainly don't want to dispel any rumors about Tom Hanks because I think that's fun just to keep that stuff alive. <laughs> he lives um, in a villa. He, he lives in a villa somewhere. <laughs> um, but you know, you do so obviously access to the lounge. Um, you know, is, now with is those the bites, perk, is yeah. that free? No, okay, no. So that's all going to be at a cost. Okay. Is it open all day and night like no. from okay yep so typically sometimes it was park hours a lot of times though it closes right before the park maybe an hour or so before the park opens an hour usually after the park so there's a little okay. bit of some some you know different hours there um because most people are not going to most of our members in walt disney world especially are not here to go to club 33 right. to sit for the day yeah you know yeah. like disneyland possibly you might go and spend some time there yeah. or it's just an easy it's just an easier right. access there um so the hours are a little bit you know smaller shorter time frames than than the actual park um is it open for lunch yeah it is yeah okay yeah. They have the best. So that you what no, they what ahead. they do at Epcot too. I love that they used to. They would take like the best of the food and wine festival Ooh, and they put that on the menu. That's wonderful. Yeah. What? So you so instead of having to like wait in these long lines outside, booth you'd have booth. like the best of and you could sit in nice. air conditioning and have a nice glass of champagne or whatever mm. you want. Yeah. That's when we'll go. Exactly. It's it's so it's just. <laughs> I want to eat some food and wine I festival know. food with Tom Hanks. Which yes. that's what I'm I'm at thirty three. Yeah, uh, exactly. So you get you get access to the lounges. Yeah. Do you get like a lifetime pass? Not a How lifetime that pass, but you do get some passes. Okay. Um, let me try to think. There's some um, uh, fast passes and whatnot. That, okay. That, they, that they'll okay. get to. You know, Club Thirty Three really is all about service and access. Okay. Those are the two. You know, really premium moments that we wanted yeah. the members especially to have service and access so you have your own it's almost like if you're a status like a diamond status on delta or something yeah. you have your own phone line so there's their own member services oh, okay. that they can call and we want this experience to be as seamless and as easy as possible so they wouldn't the have guests. to get up at 7 a.m no try to they don't Guardians. have to get up at 7 a.m <laughs> yeah. gotcha. they don't and not to my and knowledge then, <laughs> do they get like a vip tour guide every time or is that kind of like do they get options for that options for vip tour guides um you know it, what I find too with our D, with our Club Thirty Three members, the majority of them are DVC members because these are the this is the heart and soul of Club Thirty Three right here. Yeah. The Club Thirty Three members are like us; they're Disney traditionalists. They oftentimes have small children that they want to come in and they want that service and you know and access, um, or they want to be part of something so super special. Yeah. And when you've got your Club Thirty Three, whether it's your ID or you can go buy a baseball hat or a shirt or yeah. ears or something like that, I brought my name tag. To show Aww. you because, well, what's so special about the name tags is that when we were, when this was rolled out, you know, the Disney name tags are all white. So they stand right. out yeah. you know, um, really well. Ours were rose gold. So I'll take a picture of this and put Ooh. this on. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Can I hold so, it? No, no. You can't <laughs> hold it. Yes, of course. You're yeah. going to get your so, fingerprints on exactly. it. Don't breathe on it, though. <laughs> yeah. So there was so special. God, it even feels, like, it feels heavier. It does feel a little bit heavier. Yeah. Yeah. But I even wore my rose gold earrings today because everything at Club 33 at Walt Disney World has a rose gold feel to it. And so, you know, that special moment of like getting your ID, getting your, yeah. 
your name tag being part of history and something super special here at Walt Disney World and then also at Disneyland if you're a member out there. This is just so fun just it's because so I feel fun, like yeah. like we're all friends, but like we're talking for the first time. We don't yeah. like rehearse this stuff or know anything. <laughs> no, no. So we're, we're just like throwing yeah. questions at Carrie. Yeah. Yeah. So for Disney World, and mm-hmm. I don't know, again, if you're allowed to say this, but <laughs> is it a lot of locals do- or is it people from all over? It's kind of people from all over. Okay. You'd be surprised. But the thing is, is because there's so many DVC members, yeah. these are guests that have invested in Disney Vacation Club and they come often. Yeah. Okay. So it's, you know, you might have a bigger point package because you're coming weeks right. at a time or weekends at a time. And so Club 33 just makes sense. And then of course, if you're local, we've seen a lot of guests who've just loved Club 33 so much that they're like, and then they meet, you know, you chit chat with other yeah. members and you're like, oh, where do you live? Windermere, Winter Garden? We want to move here too. And so we've seen a lot of our members buy another house as well. So they still have their DVC membership, but they might have relocated here okay. as well. These are like, again, the true Disney, the Disney like fans. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you have a go question? Ahead. Go ahead, My turn. I'm going to jump in because you're going to keep going. <laughs> yes, you in the white haunted mansion shirt. Sure. Yeah. Oh, go for Hi, it. Hi, Carrie. I have a question. Hi, go ahead. We've got a caller from Indianapolis. Go ahead. Does it include everybody in the family <laughs> or is it question. like a limited number? That's like, a great question. Thank so, you. <laughs> Thanks, caller. You came in great. So, yes. So, you could put, um, you know, you can add people to your membership. So, it could just be you and your spouse. It could be you and your spouse and your children. Um, the other nice thing, too, is... So, it's not just one cost covers the family? Or is it, I'm getting Club 33 for so me and my... So, if we know someone who's a member, they could put us on their family list? No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> internal family only. <laughs> okay. Under the gotcha. same roof. Okay. Yeah. Like DVC. Roof. It has to be under the same house. Under the same house. Okay. So, yeah. it's... Like 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 a family plan, mm-hmm. kind of. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. The difference between two, like a DVC membership and a Club 33 membership, um, I used to get asked this a lot, is is it a legacy moment? You know, can I leave this to my kids or and everything like Good that? Question. Right. And so the, the short answer is no. The, the Disney answer, however, is that as long as you remain in a good standing with Club 33, which most members will and yeah. do, um, you know, it is something that... Then you might not have to renew the... Not, the initial payment and well you can just you'll renew still the have dues. to renew that but you may not have to go through the whole right to get process approved. again okay. gotcha. exactly so okay. it's a shorter process leading up to it versus disney vacation club it's a transferable deed right this is not because it's a club membership okay yeah. do you have a favorite lounge that you've been in oh, that is I, that's such a hard question but i do okay i love the hollywood studios lounge oh, yeah really? i do i love them all whenever i sit in, in any of them i'm like this one's my favorite and then i go to the next one, i'm like this one's my favorite but i think what i love about hollywood studios is i was a college program student a long time ago and above Brown Derby was, um, you no, know, it was a long time ago, too. Catwalk bar, right? Catwalk. Yes, you remember. <laughs> it was the cat. You're just as long ago as me. The, the Name cat- the bars at Disney World. Name the bar- <laughs> we know them. The Catwalk Lounge above the Brown Derby. Yeah. And, and what was it? It was just, it looked like a catwalk. Yeah. In like a theater. And, but, and it had these like little round tables with black um, tablecloths, one little candle. It was like a beatnik 60s yeah. bar, it almost it looked cool. like. Yeah. It was so cool. But I don't remember ever seeing anybody in there but college kids. And we can't pay the bill for, you know, we're there having like free cheeses and a Diet Coke whenever we could. We're <laughs> certainly not, you know, we're not uh, keeping that place yeah. alive. Well, the catwalk bar shut down and it just became a storage place. And then, um, is it Play Disney? Mm-hmm. Disney Junior? Mm-hmm. Disney Junior went in. And nothing still was done with this space. And this isn't a huge space. It's a very long and narrow. Yeah, it's long and narrow. It's long and narrow. It's but what I love of it is the theming of it is like, um, uh, it's the green room basically to like Oscars night. Oh, cool. And so everything in there is very nostalgic. Walt Disney, there's pictures of him and Mary Poppins, Julie That's Andrews. That's what I was going to ask. Like, yep. what does it look like? It's just, it's very 60s. It looks like not your grandmother's, but our grandmother's house. Because your grandmother is probably in that. Anyway. My yeah. grandmother so, had velvet walls. So. Okay, so it might look like her house then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But think like very retro, very 60s yeah. vibe. It's got like a big band theme to it also in that same. Oh, fun. Oh, it's so fun. But what I love about it, there's no windows. There's one black door with a gold 33 on it. And when you walk in there, you feel like you're someplace different okay. because you can't see anything. And for some guests, they're like, no, I want people to see me. I want to stand on the balcony or yeah. I want to be able to see something. <laughs> you know, for me, I'm like, I just want to be like I up there disappear. secret. Right. Yeah. And so they have also like a cabinet, a curio of, and they'll change them out from dis- the Disney archives. 
So when I was a sales manager, they actually had like the blocks from Mary Poppins oh, wow. that said um, Mary Poppins on oh, them. Wow. They had her hat. They changed it out to the Nutty Professor. Do you okay. remember that yeah. movie? Right. So they had all the like the scripts and the the costumes and whatnot. And there's no pictures allowed, of course. Right. But one of the special That's... things that they had up in that lounge that I always loved was the little, the very first Mouseker. And it's a statue that Roy Disney gave to Walt Disney oh, wow. as a as a tribute, oh. and that's where the Mouseker. If you've ever heard of the, the the award that's given out to Disney cast members, is the Mouseker. It's like an Oscar, but it's called a Mouseker. Get it? And it stands about this high. high. He's bronze, and his little ears are back, and he's in this glass case. Oh, sweet. and that oh. like to me. And then there's a doctorate. There's the Donald Duck okay. doctorate, like a doctorate, and he's in the next case. And so these are things that. You know, Roy and, and Walt had on their desks that are now in the in the lounge. Oh, wow. And so I actually brought my mousker because I thought this. Would oh, be you fun. did? I did because it's like a it's like a weapon. But yeah, oh, so this God. is this was from Club Thirty Three. Look how cool that and is! And he's rose gold. Wow. And so this was what was given to us um, when in a year that we just had a banner year, and so we got our mouskers. And so this now sits on my desk in oh, my office. That's it's awesome. Great. Yeah. The other the other really cool thing too, the name tag is like I said is really cool, but. Some of the other parks have Club 33s as well. So Disneyland, yep. uh, obviously Walt Disney World, Tokyo Disneyland, and Shanghai Disneyland as well. Oh, they do too? Yes. Paris does not. Interesting. Oddly enough. Don't that you think Paris yeah. have, right? That's why Paris I would... didn't go. <laughs> exactly. That's why Paris was <laughs> not go. out there. But so I brought, exactly, I brought from my, my desk, this is the Club 33 bag um, from Tokyo Disneyland. And so it's so cool because it's got the tag on it. I'll turn it this way. It's got the tag on it from, from Tokyo Disneyland. But um, the inside is all green, like a beautiful emerald green that Marissa will show you her ears in a minute that matches. <laughs> but I actually had dinner at Club 33 in Tokyo. Um, mm -hmm. It was so cool. I was an ambassador. And we went out there for the 25th anniversary of Tokyo Disneyland. And I'll never forget it. We were asked to take our pins and our name tags off. We, this is our last moment, like before we were done with the entire six days of nothing but fun and exhaustion. Oh, it was gosh, just, yeah. it was run, run, run from sun up to sundown. But it was amazing. But so all the ambassadors, we stood on the corner of Main Street and we watched the parade VIP style. And it's Tokyo Disneyland, so no detail is left oh, undone. No. It's perfection. And our tour guide um, asked us to follow her. And when we followed her, she gave us the, you know, the, oh, let's stop here. This is Club 33. So we were like, oh, my gosh, how fun. So we all stood and took our picture with the Club 33 sign. And she said, should we go in? <laughs> and we said, okay. And so we followed her in. And she said, should we have lunch? <laughs> and we all said, okay. And we bawled our eyes out. And so we were escorted upstairs. And I don't even, apparently there's a window that looks out to the castle where you can sit and watch the fireworks. I've heard that, yeah. I wow. had such an out-of-body experience. Like, talk about not being present. I Like, I was physically here, but I was mentally somewhere else because I was so overwhelmed <laughs> with, like, so cool. joy and gratitude. I yeah. couldn't take it yeah. all in. And so I didn't see, I don't remember the window. But I just remember, like, my plate, it had my name card, my name, you know, the name card had my name on it. So I was like, they were even expecting us? Like, this wasn't as oh, wow. impromptu as she right. made it seem. And everything was just superb i mean it was just it was an amazing experience and it was long yeah. we were there until the sunset we got in there about two, two o'clock we left at about 9 30. oh my because we just kept talking to everybody and yeah. the, the, the cast and it was it was phenomenal and so i'm going to segue just real quick because i think if i if i can guess what you're you're asking at home if i'm a member of one club 33 am i a member of others or can i go to others and the hard answer is no. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> it's membership by membership by membership. So they don't transfer across. But Disney World covers all four all of four. the lounges. Yes, Disney that's World a great point, actually. Yes. So Walt Disney World, yes, you're not buying membership for Hollywood Studios or Epcot. You're buying all of Walt Disney World. But unfortunately, I wish it would have been that way, that you could just be like, I have my Club 33 membership. I'm in Disneyland. But it doesn't work that way. And it's because it is so intimate and so special. Right. So that coupon I saw for buy three, get one free, <laughs> that doesn't work anymore? I don't know Disney if it's World. a Club 33 or, or <laughs> Disney World. <it's> just... <laughs> that might have said Club 23. <laughs> yes. That's so, so no, great. your coupon won't work. Okay. It was phenomenal. And it was so fun to be on a, an opening team of something so special that to really lay the bricks of like what we would call this bespoke experience right. for guests and members to come because we have the fine dining of Victorian Alberts and Citricos right. and some of the, you know, the lovely restaurants around Walt Disney World. But then to have a membership where, you know, you not only can go and have kind of a relaxed environment with your family to have a glass of wine or champagne or just 
just have a have a glass of water and just relax right. and get to know some of the cast members. But you're also meeting different people. Right. You're doing different events. And so one of my favorite events that we did at Club 33 was a Broadway series. So when the Broadway series came to Epcot in January, February, we um, partnered with the Broadway stars. So Ashley Brown, who was the original Mary Poppins, oh, yeah. she came in and did a meet and greet and a conversation back with our members. Nice. And so there's events like that that happen every now and then, too. So um, I did an uh, interview with Kevin Macy, who was one of the original uh, Tarzans over in Germany. And he was in Gentleman's Guide to, is it Love and Murder? I think so, yeah. We had this conversation yeah. earlier. Yeah, it was either Love and Murder. And, um, but he's just phenomenal. And he came and just, you know, regaled everybody with all of his stories of flying on a on a you know on a vine across the stage and, yeah and how, how amazing that audition was and and um he had to learn the the the, the uh, entire show in german and he only had like a month and a half or so to learn it wow. because it wow. was he was supposed to be in the u.s and then they said can you go to germany and he's like of course and then he said i didn't realize that that came with a whole translation and <laughs> he told a funny story that halfway through he slipped into english in one of his parts and and his counterpart the actress just looked at him like with these big eyes and he said on stage i'm speaking in english aren't i and the whole <laughs> theater just cracked up laughing and ashley brown told these great stories of mary poppins at the when she comes down at the beginning of the show from right. from you know the sky her her harness tips forward and so she but she's continuing to lower but she's going forward as she's trying to talk <laughs> and she said mary poppins is literally upside down and she said, I'm literally looking over at this little girl. And she said, who's frightened to death that I'm going to <laughs> drop on her. Right? And she said, I said to her, don't worry, Mary will be just fine. <laughs> and she said, and they lifted her back up and like fixed her. And oh, then gosh. she went on. And she said, the, the other funny story was um, at the end, she got stuck. So when she's supposed to fly off, she got stuck. And she said, there's nothing worse for a woman to hear uh, a semi truck backing up with that beeping sound yep. to come get you, and she said that is just the worst sound because it makes you feel like this big elephant on yep. stage, you know. So they just told some great stories, and but those are things that the members can can really yeah, you know really interact cool. with in some of the Disney legends. Um, Don Hahn, who is one of the creators oh, yeah. of Lion King, you yeah. know, just such great moments like that. So it's more than just like we're going to go have a cocktail right. and go behind the door. There's kind of, there's a great community there as well. Yeah. How much are you allowed to talk about your dinner? <laughs> I know. Like, well, so, <laughs> Carrie's going to kick you underneath the table. With Disney World, <laughs> Disney World, to go into the clubs, you have to go with a member. With Disneyland, yes. to dine yeah. there, if you know a member, they can put you on the reservation list. Right. You can't go into, there's a separate like club room that's like a lounge that you cannot go into unless you're with a member, but you can go um, into the dining room if you get a reservation. Right. So we had a friend kind enough to make us a reservation for a party of eight with <laughs> three kids under eight. Three little boys. <laughs> <laughs> so we were the loud crew coming on in. Um, but it was a really cool experience. I think to your point, like just for many, many years going to Disneyland yeah. and New Orleans Square is just so special. I it's know. just a special place. And so I think walking through there and seeing those Club 33 doors and then walking in. Yeah. And so you walk into your first like check-in podium. Yeah. And then from there they seat you in this beautiful little garden area mm -hmm. that's actually outdoors. So if you look up, it's open to the sky, but it feels all enclosed because you're in this little private yeah. room. And so they had this beautiful like ball made out of mosaic tiles that said 33 on it. And so because it is, and I'll show you these, it's their emerald anniversary. So it's 55 years of Club 33. So that is the emerald anniversary. So they had all kinds of like beautiful oh, wow. green. Mm -hmm. um, so we did a little souvenir crazy. A little shopping. <laughs> um, but they had beautiful like green everywhere. And they had just refurbished. I think it was 2021 when they finalized the refurbishment yeah, exactly. of the actual like restaurant area. Yeah. So it's beautiful, but it is very like that Lillian. You can see touches yes. of her inside because yeah. it is, they kept a lot of that old school, like right. very gaudy, but tasteful gaudy mm -hmm. yeah. to where you just felt like luxury. Is it still a lot of flowers and floral? A lot, yes. yes. Um, but they, they toned it down with like a lot of like really pretty, kind of like the Grand Floridian um, refurb that they did mm, with yeah. the pretty blues nice. and lighter that. pinks. Yep. Um, so they did kind of the theme with that. The bathroom where you cannot take pictures had a beautiful like swan yeah. uh, faucet with swan wings. <laughs> so no. it just had so many like beautiful touches. As you walk in, there's this beautiful like side piece that was from the original Mary Poppins. Yeah. And so Can you, you just- Can you take any pictures? You, yeah, but so I have some pictures, but it, it's funny because they keep the lights very dim. So you don't get great photos inside, <laughs> uh, but I'll put some pictures up because you can take photos, not videos. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so we sat down. So we sat in the very back because we were a party of eight. <laughs> um, and you have like a four course dinner mm -hmm. meal, which was very lovely. And it's just you feel like 
There's like this it's, magical is, feel yeah. when you walk mm-hmm. in. And I think, I don't know if it's because it's been elusive in so many years you walk by and well, you're like, right. I'm sitting here. But so we had the dinner. But Even if the food is kind of good, I think it would elevate it to like, yeah. this is the best yeah. piece of bread I've yes. ever had in my whole yeah. life. Well, it's so funny because like, the my nephews that were with us, they um, are gluten intolerant. And so they had um, grilled cheese and they had gluten-free grilled cheese. So first of all, the excitement of gluten-free grilled cheese. (laughs) My nephew takes a bite and he goes, mom, this is the best grilled cheese I ever had. It tastes like gluten. <laughs> tastes like gluten. But like he was like tearing up. Like he was drinking the soup. Yeah. He was. Yeah. He just loved it. Oh, but what cool. made it so perfect is we had timed it just right. So our dinner started at seven thirty. By the time we got up there, had drinks, sat down. The first phantasmic viewing was at nine. So at that point, we had just had our appetizers and we're ma- waiting for our main course. Mm-hmm. So the phantasmic show. If you step onto the balcony. They said obstructed. You get a pretty darn good yeah. view of Fantasmic. And so I used to be in Fantasmic. So mm-hmm. it was kind of this like full circle mm-hmm. moment of like watching Fantasmic happen and watching like my oh son my go and like be right. enamored with the show. I was like, oh Crazy. my gosh, just th- that experience. And it was so cool for the boys because I don't know if at that age they would have sat through that late right. at Fantasmic, but for them to come like color, have a little snack. Go back, watch the show. Yeah. Come in and out of that. Like, that was incredible. Yeah, that's so cool. We did have to dress and dress code. Mm-hmm. Um, so thankfully, we had a stroller where we stuffed, like, bags of clothing because yeah. we did 15 rides that day. Right. So it was like, <laughs> brush off the sweat, change the clothes, put on the heels, <coughs> stuff everything in the stroller, and look presentable. Um, and then as we finished off, the fireworks were taking place oh. right there on the balcony. So we just stepped outside, peeked, and watched the fireworks. We didn't see the whole, like, full show. Yeah. But enough, like, that's all we needed, yeah. right? Like, we we just wanted something where the boys could say, we've seen Fantasmic, yeah, we saw yeah. the fireworks, we had an incredible meal. Yeah. And then you leave just with this, like, yeah. as we walked out, we saw the very end, or actually, we saw the very start and finished off the electrical parade, oh my which God. is the final show, that's like so I said. And so it was amazing. just like... That's perfect. Yeah. Disney that's perfect. Day, I on. know. I know. And that I think that's what you said it perfectly, like, yeah. the Club 33 experience, the kids can go back inside and come back out and... That's what it's all about is like that service, that access, that ease, it's yeah. that, you know, that simplicity of like making a, a situation of sitting through Fantasmic or sitting through dinner or something like that, that normally is a little bit of like a, a dance. Yep. You know, you can have a little bit more freedom with it. And um, yeah, I haven't been to Disneyland's Club 33 for years. It's probably been 2012 or so or 13. So I've not seen the new refurbishment, but you're right. Like sitting there, there's something so special about it and even going to do a meeting or something at, at club 33 here every time i would approach that that elevator i was like i'm so excited you know like and and, and you know i you'd want to take people with you because you'd see people be like oh she's going in the elevator i'm like i know but i'm not really a member like i'm just here to do a meeting or something you don't you have know. to take a picture yeah like, like it's okay, okay. No pictures. But it, everyone's, it is. Gonna, everyone's gonna show up now and be like yeah i have a meeting with carrie <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that. They, they, uh, yeah, no, don't say that. But yes, it was just. It, there's just something so special about it. And then going back to the history, like you said, the Mary Poppins side table. Yes. And, and uh, is the piano? Wasn't the piano the that piano. like Paul McCartney played on? Yep. I mean, stuff Jeez. like that, Derek. I actually, I have a picture of us all around the piano, so uh, I will put that up in the it's slide. It's so great, and I, and it's so iconic that door in Disneyland. Yes, it is with the staircase because so many guests will walk by, and you know, you dr- you you take a picture in front of it. You dream of going behind the door, and when you do get to do that, it's it's as much of real life of what you want it to be, yeah. even greater. Yeah, it doesn't disappoint. So that's that's a little bit of, of the behind the scenes of Club 33. It is that's something so, so special. And I think, too, with our community of DVC members, you know, I love that about our community, you know, of members is that if you're part of something, yeah. whether you're Club 33 DVC, DVC resale, it doesn't it's matter. It's taking Disney it's, to a whole level is. of yeah. like, it becomes, I think it's crazy because like you tell people who don't know Disney mm-hmm. about Disney Vacation Club and they're like, yeah. you have that many people that talk about timeshare? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but it, no, it's not that. It's True. this community of yeah. people who want to do vacations yeah. similar yeah. and create and go to this magical place yeah. and find ways to enjoy it. And so that's what's so cool about this DVC community. Yeah. yeah. And to your point, with those different added extras with Disney in general, mm-hmm. it brings out a different type of like 
group and yeah. you have these different connections with people that you wouldn't have if it weren't for Disney. You, we used to say too like you've met your people yeah. in, in Club 33 like you've met your tribe and and a lot of times with DVC unless you're in the, the lounge at Epcot you may not always have that time to talk to another DVC member right. where in Club 33 you do you know people are it was very common for one table to say hey come, bring your chair over here I see that you have you know you're from New England or you're a football fan or you know what football is a big thing by the way when when the when the Eagles won the Super Bowl a few years ago I mean that was a that was the Patriots and the Eagles coming together and like every other football team I thought only Club 33 so we can <laughs> watch the yeah. Super Bowl at no you can't okay. watch the Super Bowl but this was at the day after <laughs> okay you know all the Eagles fan went in with with all so of their when we go to watch the parade this year yeah. well, you're gonna go when we see Tom Brady when you go yeah. see Tom Brady <laughs> I know I know yeah go. but that's just it it's it's just it's a special group we used to always say that like you found your tribe yeah you really you're speaking the same language because how many of us have family members that would say you're going to Disney again. Right. Yeah. You're, you're at Disney again, or you're you're bought into Disney Vacation Club. You're doing a Disney cruise, where Club Thirty Three DVC people are like, yeah, again, <laughs> and I bought more points, and yep. we're going again for our cruise. Like you just have found your tribe of people where you speak the same language. Well, that's right? that's just it, yeah. and and that's where you see our community that we have here. Yeah. Just not only with our show, of yeah. course, which we have the best audience oh, in the yeah. whole world, but also on our DVC fan boards and our yes. Facebook groups yep. and everything else. I mean, I've been blessed enough, and I know many of us have, just to find people that, I mean, these are not just quote unquote clients. I mean, these are people mm -hmm. because you have that similar interest, right. you have that similar, that then you start talking and then you're like, oh, I like this and we yeah. like this and we have the same sense of humor and <laughs> you laughed at my jokes and you're my best friend forever. Yeah. And you so, can have heated debates uh, like, yeah. Saratoga Springs is the best, you're wrong, <laughs> you know, Wilderness Lodges, and you're like, no, Grand Floridian. Like, you can have these fun debates of yeah. like, you can have your favorite and it's not going to offend anybody. Right. Yeah. You know, we can all have our favorites. Uh, you know, attractions or parks or resorts or stays or room sizes or whatnot, you've really found your tribe. We always used to say, too, as the, as adults, the older you get, the harder it is to make friends. Yeah. Right? You can't just go up to a kid, someone at a playground and be like, hey, I like you. <laughs> Want to be friends? You know, like you just, I mean, I guess we could. We should try that. That would be really funny. But at, at Club 33 and at DVC, like you have that where it's like, oh, I see your DVC or, oh, you're Club, Club 33. Right. I, I literally walked into the Epcot and uh, I have an umbrella that is a beautiful golf umbrella that has 33 on it. And I didn't even realize it as I walked in. Of course, I closed it. Was at Epcot, scanned my my ID, walked in, and opened it back up. And the cast member was like, he tapped me on the shoulder, and I turned around. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble because I always think I'm in trouble at Disney. And he's like, um, well, because I'm a rule follower, and I did follow the rules. <laughs> but I turned around, and he was like, I love your umbrella. And I said, oh, thank you. And Randy said, did he just compliment your umbrella? And I pushed it down, and she's like, oh. And I said, I have the bougie umbrella. <laughs> yeah. This gets more attention. Where my costume. I'm not so scary. Let's just come full circle. No one cared that I was a Club 33 member. No one asked. No yep. one cared. I did. So that's Club 33 kind of tied up in, so in a bow. Yeah, and it's great. And I think I love to end it off, speaking of just our community, right? Yeah. We would love to hear from you guys. So mm -hmm. if it's an experience coming up, right, within the season of Halloween or Christmas, yeah. Yeah. maybe a Club 33 experience yeah. or a DVC connection, right? right? Let us know in the comments. We want to learn more about you. So put that in the comments there. Email us info at worldofdvc.com. Yep. Let us know your name, your mailing address, and someone's going to walk away with $150 to their next trip at so Disney. So cool. Or yeah. it's your choice, $150 or Carrie's thing <laughs> or Marissa's ears. Uh, <laughs> Ow, they're um, kicking me under the table. Exactly. They're kicking me. Oh, yes. do you hear something? Oh, what's that noise? It's time for story time with Sue. Hi, and welcome to Storytime with Sue. Today's story is about my experience with two different areas of concierge service in two different resorts. Recently, I had the chance of going into the concierge at the Polynesian, and it was right after it reopened after COVID. Uh, they put in a new kitchen, they remodeled the rooms, and they opened it up, and I was one of the first guests to be there. I love to test out new things, so I spent four days in Concierge, and I want to tell you, it was a fantastic experience. If you have a special anniversary coming up, or if you have a, uh, a special birthday or a proposal, it might be something that you might want to consider. And remember, you can take your points and you can rent them out and then pay for Concierge to do this. So keep that in mind. 
But the concierge at the Polynesian was really nice. The rooms are, are beautiful. Uh, the rooms actually uh, sleep four to five. And um, I had a room that faced the lagoon, so I was Magic Kingdom view. The concierge lounge is fantastic. The food there, you have breakfast opportunities. At lunchtime, it's more snacks, um, cheese, crackers, uh, granola bars, things of this nature. And at dinner time every night, the chef came out with these little, um, I call them top of portions of different types of foods. And it was a theme. One night could be an Italian night. One night could be an Asian night. Um, I remember one night we had ahi tuna. And the ahi tuna with a little bit of seaweed salad was out of this world, just seared just the right way. Along with it, they had some um, cold noodles in a sesame soy. And they also had some little egg rolls and dumplings. But then they have for the kids, they always have something like your um, chicken fingers, uh, chicken tenders, um, your grilled cheese sandwiches, things of that nature. But it's a nice place to be able to relax. It has floor to ceiling windows and you can sit there. You can look out at the beach. You can look out at the Magic Kingdom and it's a good place for the fireworks. At fireworks time, they pipe the music into the lounge and you can sit there and you can watch the fireworks while you're sipping on a beverage and while you're having a dessert. Um, just a truly special place to be, and the concierge staff is fantastic. So uh, it's, it's something, as I said, to do if you want to spoil yourself for a little while, but just rent out your points and do it. The other one that I stayed in was over at the boardwalk, and I mean, I'm a Disney nut. I've been a member since 1991, and I really thought I knew a lot about the parks and resorts. And there's one thing about one of the resorts I didn't know. I didn't know that over at the boardwalk, they have these garden view rooms, and they're suites. They're two-story suites. And there's several of them. If you walk in and you go towards the garden area of the um of the resort and near where the quiet pool is, you're going to see on one side all of these individual two-story units. And these little villas have picket fences to them and they all have different kinds of gardens. One had a garden where the uh, bushes came up into a heart shape. I bet you it was for the honeymooners. And um, others had gardens with little benches in them and roses. It's just really, really pretty. Well, that's where I stayed, and that was part of concierge. So instead of staying on the concierge floor, I stayed in, in one of these garden suites. It was two stories. You walked in onto the first story, and you had a big living room with a pull-out sleeper sofa, big t television set, and a kitchenette and a bathroom. And then when you walked up the stairs to the loft was the master bedroom, with king size bed, sitting area, and then a master bath. Beautiful place. And again, something I had never knew even existed. And when you're staying there, you have access to the concierge lounge. Just walk across the garden, go into the hotel, take the elevator up to the concierge lounge. And again, you have breakfast service, you have snacks during lunch and throughout the day, and you also have um, appetizers at dinner time. At dinner time this one night, it was Italian night, and the chef was making two different kinds of pasta right in front of you. It was delicious, and they had uh, an antipasta tray, and they had all kinds of fruits and vegetables and crudités, uh, just amazing. And for adults, they also have wine. They have beer throughout the day. And at nighttime, they have cordials during dessert. So it's a nice way to be able to totally relax. All I did when I was there was to enjoy the resort, enjoy the quiet pool, enjoy my room, and to enjoy walking around the boardwalk. I've stayed at some of the other concierge. I've stayed over at Animal Kingdom. I've stayed over at Wilderness Lodge, and I've stayed over at the um, Grand Floridian. 
Calcier as well. Out of all of them, my favorite one always will be the Poly. There's just something about the Poly, um, the, the warmth that's there, and I think it's because it's one of my favorite resorts and its location to the Magic Kingdom and being able to see that castle at night before going to bed. So that's my favorite. Do you have a favorite place that you like to stay? A favorite DVC resort that you like or a special type of room? Do you like the one bedroom versus the three bedroom Grand Villa? Have you ever stayed in a three bedroom Grand Villa? Tell me your stories. I would love to share them. Again, if I use your story, you will get some cast Disney swag from me to you. Thank you and good night. Oh, that was so much fun. That was, that was great. Yeah. Thank you great both show. for taking us behind the curtain the of Club 33. The, the, <laughs> the curtain of Club 33. <laughs> so thank you. That was awesome. Uh, so thank so you guys fun. so much. And thank you guys thank at home, guys. all around the world, for tuning in mm -hmm. to today's very special episode. So yep. with that, I think we're done, except there's only one last thing to do. That's Ready? Right. Yep. Let's go to Club 33. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Get back here. All right, one. one last thing okay, to do. Here we one, go. two, three. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you real soon. soon. <laughs> Club 33. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Please remove your headphones, step back into reality, have a magical day, and we'll see you real soon.